Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you how the Tarte, hold on, I forget the name of it. <laughs> it's the Hydro Flex Serum Foundation. I'm gonna show you guys how this applies, how it works. This was not supposed to be today's video, but it is because I had ordered this. This is the Glowish from Huda Beauty, and I was going to start trying this out and doing a 24-hour wear test, whatever, with that. Yeah, this color is way too dark, and I have already used these, so I can tell you guys how I feel about them, as well as the new-ish concealer. I say new-ish because it came out a a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago, but it's just recently available on Ulta. And this is the Tarte Ultra Creamy Face Tape Concealer. I was not going to get this, <laughs> but my good friend Tara Lynn, she's like, you gotta get this, you have to get this, you have to get this. So when she told me about it, I got it. I got it in my shade, which ends up being a little too light for me. So I have some other shades to show you as well. But without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the information about these little beauties, and then we will go through how it performs. First up, the Hydroflex Serum Foundation. This comes in 32 different shades. It's $39 and you're getting 1.01 fluid ounces. So just like a hair over the normal amount, and it's very liquidy. Very, very liquidy. You're gonna be seeing me do that a lot during the video. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's just something about, I don't know, it's fun. <laughs> All right, on the Tarte website, it reads, it's a serum foundation that lets the true you shine through. It moves with your skin so it never creases or cakes. It's medium coverage, feather light formula for natural finish that looks and feels like your skin. There's eight different types of hyaluronic acid that promotes better bare skin. And it's water-based formula applies evenly and effortlessly, delivers 12 hour of hydration, brightness, and smooths, minimizes the look of pores, fine lines, and wrinkles. It's sweat protect complex, keeps skin looking fresh. It's waterproof, sweat proof, and fragrance free. And there's all different types of skin loving ingredients in this. I'm not gonna go through it all. I feel like I'm reading a book when I'm reading the description about the foundations or anything these days. It's like I make it into this like fairy tale. <laughs> all right, now for the concealer. I'm glad that I no longer have the shape tape because uh, this looks identical to it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I would be sitting there going back and forth and accidentally reaching for the wrong concealer, but this is the Ultra Creamy Face Tape, and it is formulated with built-in eye cream for 24-hour moisturization. I thought that was pretty cool. Pigment power of your favorite concealer for skin that looks hydrated, never dry. It's full coverage. It doesn't cake or settle into lines. It's infused with skincare. It's cushion tape technology helps smooth and reduce the looks of lines and wrinkles. And it delivers 24 hour crease proof and waterproof wear. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the demo of applying these. And then I'll get into my thoughts because this is not the first time I have worn this. I've tried it out a few times. This I've used quite a bit, so I really know how I feel about this, but I know how I feel about this as well. <laughs> this I just use longer. Okay, I'm done. I'm rambling. All right, let's get into it. I have shades 25H or light medium honey as well as 20N, which is described as light neutral. I couldn't figure out which one to get, so I got them both. And <laughs> this one is definitely more of my summer color, and this one matches my skin like, to a T, which is a little too light for the rest of my body. So what I did was mix them together in there. Do you hear that? They're very watery. I already have them mixed. I'm gonna go in with my Pat McGrath <laughs> not worth it brush. All of my brushes are dirty right now. <laughs> I know I keep saying that, but um, for real, for real. <laughs> so you can see this. This is matching pretty well, and this is with them combined. So that should give you an idea of just how light the 20N was. It's just too light for me. And then I like the little bit of added peachiness in the honey 
Oh, this feels really good on the skin. Now, I have used this more than just today. I think I probably already told you that in my the beginning, the intro. So I do already know how I like it. I like to kind of build it just slightly by stamping, especially right around my pores, so that I can get just a little bit more coverage because very, very light coverage but that's what it's supposed to be. It is, however, so hydrating. I really like the way it feels on my skin and it evens everything out. It lets my skin show through. It doesn't make it look like I am plastered in makeup. It has a nice, healthy glow to it, but I will have to add a little bit of concealer. This is what I would call a layer and a half. So a little bit of building right on the cheeks Definitely just one layer on my forehead and down here, but I think it looks really, really nice. It's smooth, it's very healthy looking, and I like it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and, um, oh, I have their new concealer. Let me use that. This is the Ultra Creamy Shape Tape Concealer, and I've been testing this one out, but this is slightly lighter. It's 22N, which is what I wear in the foundation, but it's it's kind of light on my face. So I ordered <laughs> these minis because apparently this is now sold out everywhere, and I grabbed 29N, which is a light medium. See, that doesn't even look dark either. And then 35N, which is a medium. I'm gonna put them all on my hand and then we can see which one I wanna use. The one I originally bought is 22N, right there. And then 29N and 35N. Hmm, I think I'm going to go in with this one right here, which is 25N, 29N. I'm sorry, there's so many different numbers. <laughs> Just going to apply this right under my eye. Put a little bit around my mouth, a little pimple. All right, now we let me blend this in. Royal and Lang Nickel, BOM 448. This is like the synthetic version of the Kitten Paw from MAC. Do you guys remember that brush? Uh, that's, at least that's what I called it. Some, uh, some people called it the Bunny Paw. And then uh, we all had like these different names for this specific brush, but it was a natural hair. This is synthetic and I feel like it really does a great job of stamping in and blending out the concealer. I have a smaller one as well. Like I said, I've been using a lot of brushes to do <laughs> my makeup for my face. Now I haven't really been using a sponge, and so that's why all my brushes are dirty. <laughs> all of my Wayne Goss brushes, oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, I can't help it though, like, I really like them, and I don't want to use one of those. Like I have this cleanser right here, which I've recently been using for just like quick clean up like this right here synthetic brush I'll definitely use it on and some of my eye brushes but I'm scared to use that on something like my face brushes let me know if you've used that before they sent it to me it's the cinema secrets quick drying or rinse free formula and it's definitely nice for my brushes for the eyes Ugh, I really like this concealer and I actually prefer it with a brush versus the sponge, which is not typical for me. I think it just melts into my skin and gives me a little bit more coverage when I use it with the brush versus whenever I use it with the sponge. And the same thing with these, <laughs> it's like I get no coverage at all <laughs> when I use these with a sponge, but it, they're very, you hear that? They're very, very liquidy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my face. Here's what the foundation looks like when it's just very lightly set and the concealer as well, both with the Jaclyn Hill powders, the translucent on the face and then that little palette underneath the eyes. And it's very smooth, it still looks like skin. It's not overly done and I did not over powder my face. 
Then here it is with bronzer. So you can see it look a little bit more lively. And then the finished look with highlight and my blush and just like all of it done. <laughs> I really like this serum foundation. I think it is really beautiful. It feels very hydrating. It does not feel heavy on my skin. It gives me a nice glow without it looking oily. It does not emphasize my pores at all, but with that, I don't think it smooths them either. It says that it does, but I think it looks great on my lines, like my smile lines, and then underneath the eyes or whatever, but I don't feel like it actually smooths my pores at all. I do think it evens out my complexion. I don't agree with the medium coverage. I feel like this is more of a light to light medium. I can kind of get that light medium whenever I build it up with that other, like right around my cheeks, but straight out the gate, it's not a medium coverage. Personally, I don't think that it is. Um, I could definitely, even through everything that I have on right now, I can still see the tiny little spots on my skin. I think everything looks smooth and it looks like it's more evened out, but I can still see the spots that I know that I look for that somebody else probably isn't going to see, but I can see them. But it doesn't bother me. I think it looks really, really nice. And this does last all day. I don't have issues with this creasing at all. Even in my smile lines, it wears very, very well. I do get slightly more shine right on my pores. I have combination skin, so that can tend to happen. This one, I'm not sure if oily skin people will like this or not. If you like that added hydration, I think that you would, but I would set it with a more oil absorbing powder. I specifically use something that was not going to like dull down the shine. I wanted that little bit of hydration to peek through. So if you were to prep your skin and also use a powder on top that really helped keep your oils at bay, I think that you would like this, but it might not last as long on you. Now, if you're normal, dry, I think that you will love this, especially if you're dehydrated like myself. I'm combination, but my dry spots are more like dehydrated, so I really like this on the skin. I think it's very, very nice. Now, I have to compare it to the Fenty one because <laughs> that has been my baby. Uh, I think that this one is definitely more hydrating, but I do like the Fenty just a little bit more. There's just something about it that I like on my skin, just like a hair more. And I do want to also point out that this does oxidize just a little bit. I don't know if you guys could tell on camera, but just from putting it on and then waiting just a few minutes, it started to deepen up a little bit. So keep that in mind whenever you're picking out your shade. Another really nice thing is that throughout the day, I did find it to be like humidity and sweat resistant. I wore it while I was outside watering my flowers. It was a hot day. I went for a walk. I was more active whenever I tried this out the first time. And while I got pretty sweaty, and I get sweaty on my face, <laughs> I don't know if like, if that's a normal, I, of course it's normal, but I feel like I get more sweaty on my face than I do other parts of my body. Anywho, whenever I came back inside and it all like subsided, my makeup still looked flawless. It looked a little bit more glowy, but in a really nice way. Not like it's breaking apart or getting cakey or anything like that. I have not tested out the waterproof claims, but I have shown in other videos that you can pretty much make most things waterproof just by how you apply and set your makeup. I can, yeah, I can make something last very, very easily. <laughs> but I do think that this one lasts really nicely all day long. I like it. I don't like it more than my Fenty, but I do really like it. All right, moving on to the concealer. At first, I was not as big of a fan of this. I tried it, um... Like I liked it, I thought it looked good, but I didn't love it. And the funny thing is, I think this looks so much better when applied with a brush. I don't, you know, typically that is not something that I would even try. It's a little too hydrating on me with, you know, my skincare <laughs> and 
and then having this and then the damp sponge it's like a little too much but using it and then applying it with a brush it is magical it is so nice and hydrated it's not crepey at all underneath the eyes it does not crease or look dry throughout the day it's a very 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 pretty concealer I like it so much more now that I've tried it with a brush and typically, yeah, it's just the other way around for me. I will have to pick this up in the darker shade, the 29N that I used today because this one's just a little too light. This one's just a little too light, but I can use it like right here and here to brighten up if I wanted to. However, I think it's like out of stock right now. So yeah. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed my thoughts on the wear of the foundation and the concealer. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Let me know if you have tried these out and what you think about it. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.